Hey guys, John Lux here, back with a new blind playthrough, although this is going to be a single serving. This is Water Womb World by Yames. So if this game looks at all interesting, uh, it's free and it's about 15 minutes from what I understand, so definitely check it out yourself. Maybe stop watching the video and, and go look into it. Uh, it's supposed to be creepy. Similar to... Well, I don't know. I recently played um, Growing My Grandpa at the recommendation of uh, Jaco Lantern, and um, and he recommend. I think he recommended these as well. The other two, Water Womb World and Discover My Body, uh, those are both free. Although you can donate to Yames if you wish. Um, I happily paid for Growing My Grandpa, and I'm happily playing these after playing that. So. We'll see. We're going to jump in. I don't know what this is. I don't know at all, but should be creepy. Also, Manny is here in my lap being a crazy bucket, so, um... Man, he's been crazy this morning, all day. So we'll see. We'll see what this says. I have a mouse, but I'm not sure how much is mouse and how much is keyboard. That's all. Uh, though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment in its primitive superstitions. The mysticism, the rituals... I know they're all articulations of a deeper material fact. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Um, I know it's supposed to be, it's, there's probably going to be like demons or something in this, but, uh, you know, they are, there's some truths to the mythology, right? In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perfection of God's plan confirmed each other at every level, or at every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been to find the origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer than ever to finding the truth. So if the Bible is to be believed then presumably he's either looking for the Garden of Eden or uh, the origin point of man's fall from grace. I mean, who could say? Is it the serpent, which may or may not represent the devil? Is it the, um, the, the fallibility of man? I mean, you could, you could look at the whole, you know, if God is all-knowing and God sets you know everything is according to god's will then god knew in advance and chose to make adam and eve eat the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil because it's not the fruit of the tree of knowledge it's the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil morality basically uh and he knew the serpent would do that and and, and anyway um but yeah is he going for the serpent is he going for it Eve, is he going for the tree? I'm heading deep into the ocean into a region they call Gasper Zone. I have everything I need in my submersible lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Soon I will tread out onto the holy seabed, where the spirit blew life into the increate mantle. So, presumably he is looking for the Garden of Eden. And yes, this... I think this is how it is supposed to look. Very, very old school. The first color monitors had, um, it was like magenta. It was like magenta, teal, some kind of yellow, kind of like the original printer colors, just on in monitor form. I have lit my path with submersible's lights. It is a blessed day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tank and grab some nets for specimen collection. I'm going to need both if I'm going to do my research. Before I leave, I ought to make sure I have a full tank and nets for specimen collection. This is as far as I got. I didn't even read the intro. I just skipped through it real fast just to make sure that the volume is good enough. And hopefully it is. Um, yeah, this is bad. We're underwater and I'm terrified of the ocean. So that ought to be good. Uh, oh. Research, I should find more samples before I get, begin my studies. Also, I loved growing my grandpa. I have since 
if you watched it on the channel, my playthrough, I only got one of the two endings, and the other ending is not difficult to get. You just gotta do what you're... what you know you're not supposed to do, basically. And the game is really short anyway, so just a couple of things of experimentation and you're fine. Alright, replenish nets. There we go. So though three nets, full oxygen, mirror. I'm looking pretty good. Yeah, that's not gonna change. I don't even know where the mirror is on this. Doesn't matter. Alright, head out. Even with my lights, it is still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they're on, I'm sure I'll be fine. Oh. I just have to remember the entrance back into the lab is the furthest spot south. Do I have a map? I hope to find some good specimens here, whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope as they cannot swim too far away. I must also remember if I sift at one position, it'd be a waste to sift there again until later. I should try to find one live sample via my net and also two samples from sifting. That should be sufficient for now. So it is very similar to growing my grandpa. Time to begin. May God guide me. I suppose, can I use the key? Oh, we're losing, we're losing oxygen. Oh, that's the, uh, oh, wow. Okay. Sift, silt, sifting. I didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Oh. Okay. Sift silt. I found a post Lepsarian Adamite skull. It looks quite old. It may reveal something. I will study it when I get back to the lab. Okay. Can I. They will evade me. Let's go a little. Sifting. I didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Didn't find anything. Keep looking. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. So once we get maybe halfway, we'll head back. Didn't find anything. Keep looking. A dive mask, likely an older make by the looks of it. It only has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking at back at the lab. All right, well, let's, um, human skull dive mask. Do we want to throw the net? Okay, that's as far forward as we can go. Oh, strange, you can only look. Okay. Well, let's return to the lab because we're running out of running out of oxygen. Okay. I should find more samples before I begin my studies. All right, let's head out again. So we're just looking for a live fish now. if I see a fish. Okay, I guess we'll go like... Oh, hey! terrible at this. <laughs> I 
So it's like as soon as you see, you gotta click on, you gotta move down and hit the net real fast, I guess. Is there like a hotkey? It's like you see it and then you move down and it's just like... I'm looking pretty good, that's fantastic. Jesus Christ, is this... Okay, it... Okay, as far as I could tell, I'm hitting, like, all the number, letter keys, whatever. I don't wanna just... Yeah, it's, it's strange. goes like I need to go it's really weird it's like the it's like the sensitivity is really low so you have to move your mouse like a lot got him I'll check out the specimen when I get back to the lab. I have been blessed with a bounty to research. It is time to go back to the lab and begin. I can barely contain my excitement. All my life's work has led up to this moment. The fish? Even though I have been down here but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. Yeah. The original sin of man, the original temptation. Was that God opening the mind too? I am alone here, but I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and a connectedness to all things. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. Um, okay. I can feel it sometimes in the strangeness of my body, as if I was once connected to the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vaster hole, but I was violently removed and left to float freely by my own. Well, as I've said, I should get to work. Interesting. He doesn't say anything, does he? Okay, I guess we'll research. Researching! Alright. Adamite skull partially fossilized remains of a son of Adam contains 5% ancestral corruption. By approximate calculations, this human lived for about a millennium and was born 10 generations after the primeval fall. High bone density suggests aquatic lifestyle. Cyber catechism version 1.0. Fascinating, this, pers uh, this person was extremely co close to the source of Genesis to the birth, uh, man, I can't talk, to the birth of all creation. They live to be very, very old and have only just a trace of degeneration. The bone density, yes. One of the pillars of aqua Edenic studies is that early man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed since such a time, and the, the form the sons of Adam take now is very different. I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near the state of grace. I'll load the next sample. <laughs> Bless me, Manny. Dive mask. Production date mid 20th century. Rubber skirted dive mask ornamented with various Christograms, bil uh, biblical inscriptions. This mask would prove that I am not the first one to explore Gaspar's zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was here for a purpose.
Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent here by the church. There are certain divisions in the papal conclave who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. Were these explorers eliminated by more traditional factions, and what did they discover? Where are they now? Indeed. I'll take a look at the next sample. Just the fish itself. Ancient fish. Carbon dating estimation, 10,000 years. But it's alive. Like it's 10,000 years old? Also, excuse me for being picky. I think carbon dating only works up to like 8,000 years or something like that, or there's ranges for each type of dating. Laser vivisection yielded fish fed on native coral forms, hypercalcified bone structure, tensile strength matching modern metamaterials. Amazing, this fish may have very well been alive during the time of the pre-deluge patriarchs, like the pre-flood, uh, the biblical flood, I don't know, I don't remember what it's called, just the flood. This very well may confirm the theory of Gaspar's zone being located in or around Adenic ground, but how? Some of suspension of space-time or some biological deceleration of the aging process? See, I love this. I love this sort of magic, scientific, whatever. It's almost like Star Trek, but with... Or, or Ghostbusters with, like, occultism. You know, it's like, it's like science, like the scientific study of magic or occult phenomenon, you know? It's not, oh, how does it work? Oh, magic. It's like, no, there's an actual, like, they're studying how it works. I must conduct a more extensive search. Soon I should go out for more samples. Okay. Do I click on this? What was that? A whale? It sounded even bigger. I should go check outside. I don't want to. Let's check the mirror. I can't. I can't click on anything. The lights are out? Damn. But something stirs in me. I, I really hope there's no jump scares. There probably is going to be, and I like pulled something in my back, so I'm really not excited about it. Oh lord, even in this darkness, I know you are with me. Your word is light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. Okay. Okay, well, we can't sift. Okay, do we throw the net? Son of Adam, I beseech thee, your forebears abandoned the tree of life and ate of the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. Interesting. Well, it's the fruit of knowledge of good and evil, not the fruit of knowledge. You will leave this place, or you will exchange one life for another. Die as a man or join God in full flesh. Leave this place or exchange one life for another? What does that mean? Die as a man or join God in full flesh? I don't know what that means, but... Presumably, it's like... Join with God or something. To hear the voice of your god is to return origin word back into the womb where words would fail. Know this now. 
water womb world. I am but his created messenger. This is all I know. Son of Adam, I beseech thee, I beseech thee, I beseech thee. I don't want to throw the net. I tried. An angel? An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. Their visage even matches the description in the deciphered Genesis apoph Apocryphon. Um, this kind of reminds me of... There was... I saw this YouTube video of, like... I'm sure it's somewhere else, but I saw it on YouTube, of 3D renderings of angels. And it's like they're... They're kind of horrible looking. One is like a, a bunch of rings with a bunch of eyes on it. <clears throat> and... In the comments, one stood out to me, which was... Um, demons are supposed to be considered beautiful by man because they're supposed to entice you. Whereas angels, whenever they appear to humans, they're like, be not afraid, right? Because they're, they're powerful or something. I, I don't know, but it's like the whole, they're supposed to look scary. And that one kind of did, it was like a weird octopus thing, but this dude seems foolish. Um, yeah, man, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would do in this situation, because he's clearly kind of um, self, like con a little bit conceited, like, oh, God is with me and all that stuff. It's like, you know, you need to humble yourself. To see such sights, can it be possible? But what did their message mean? Full flesh in God. I can't postpone my search any longer. I am closer than ever, and I will find the truth. I must find more samples. I should find more samples before I begin my studies. Does he not have an iris anymore? Full flesh. Yeah, you turn into one of them. You become one of these fishes or something. Time to change it up. I ought to find two live specimens and one object in the silt. I feel as if I barely even need this oxygen underwater anymore. Yep. I'm closer to God than ever. Yeah, full flesh and God, right? Yeah. I didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Okay. We're just looking for one, and then we'll... Interesting. This coral's color is similar to the red pigmentation I found in that ancient fish. I should collect it. Okay, now we're looking for... Try. Got him. Check out the specimen when I get back to the lab. Oh, well don't. Man, and it wasn't moving either. We feel tank. I wonder if we only got the first one. Specimen when I get back to the lab. Excellent. 
Now I ought to go back to the lab to begin my research. It has been interesting swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. I'm reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark, the undifferentiated infinitude, incomprehensible to the created mind. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the angel was like, hey, if you don't leave, you will be as you were in the womb, basically, right? But I believe I can know God, and I will know God. See, there you go. It's the conceit. That's something that really bothers me um, about many Christians, is it's not... I guess religious people in general, is it's not a... Um, they're not they're not seeking to improve themselves they're using it as a as validation right um, many Christians just Christians I, I don't know a whole lot of other religious faiths um It, to me, it just seems like all of the worst people I've met have been Christians. Um, but at the same time, many of some of the nicest people I've met have been Christians as well. So it's, I, I don't know. It's almost like a, it's very polarizing. It's like you're going to be forced one way or the other. Um, you know, kind of like the identity politics stuff. It's it's just that some people are bullies and they're using whatever they can to bludgeon others, whether it's, you know, formerly the uh, uh, religion these days, it's like the identity politics and all that stuff. It's, you know, there's always going to be shitty people that use stuff. Um, yeah, so... I don't know, if an angel appeared to me, I'd, I'd really worry that I was going crazy. But secondly, I'd be like, okay, let's say that was actually real. What are the implications, you know? All right. It is strange. Perhaps it is just exhaustion from my swimming, but I feel a bit dizzy. Oh, you need to be out in the in the water. A beatific lightness has entered my mind. The knowledge I've gained over the years seems to fly from me. Just at the moment, I'm learning the ultimate truth. Well, there's nothing to do but press on. The researching thing reminds me of, uh... What is that game? Deadly Premonition? When he's like... Um, not analyzing, he's like, uh... He's like putting the pieces of the case together and it's like, that's not what he's doing. Or, or the word they're using is not what it is. Deathless fish. Cross analysis with previous fish sample. Fish age exceeds previous estimations. Born sometime in Jurassic period. Cellular growth abnormal, almost completely still. Stomach contents reveal more native coral forms. DNA contains proto-human proteins. This fish is even older. Amazing, almost impossible. There is some common link between this life form and our own. I notice as well, this fish as well as the others are lacking eyes, not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean. But even blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral in the gut. What does it mean? There must be some thing. All of a sudden, I feel... Deathless fish, too. Unknown morphology. 50% of a sample consists of coral polyp. Age, again, exceeds multiple geologic periods. Secretion of unknown stone substance. DNA contains proto-human proteins. I wonder if these fish are... People like him, like the... Because he found the diving mask, right? So they're probably people that came here looking for God. So old, impossibly old, the Ancient of Days. 
Time seems to spiral out in front of me. The divine plan imprinted in all things. How old is it? This fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself. I'll take a look at the next thing. Red coral. Origin unknown. Error. Studded with proto-human neuron. Hyper capable of creating consciousness field. Womb of God. Error. 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 So this coral is the tree of knowledge, maybe? What does it mean? I can barely read this. My own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness? But it seems greater than that, like the symbols of the world are falling from their place. I feel so... The light. Another angel? Oh lord, I can feel your love. Yeah, he looks even different now. Even more different. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, here we go. Creepy. Water womb world. Oh, it's talking. Like its mouth is actually moving. Oh, the O2 is gone now. Womb. Hunger. I am I am hunger. Go and join angels. Join God. All right. Oh, look at this. Look at her hands. Claws. I must find it. Feed on coral. All right. Feeding. More. More. Are the hands going to change more? Oh, they're getting darker. Water wound world. Those are angels, huh? Huh. Was that, um... The Whore of Babylon? Because that was like the many-headed beast. A game by Yames. So is it actually the devil? That is all. I guess that's it. Um, I don't remember where I saw it or if it was me that thought of this idea, but um, there's the concept of the fall or, or not the fall, but the, I don't know what you call it, the revolt in heaven when Satan tried to overthrow God and was cast down. Um, if you look at some of the stuff in the Bible, like the the game, The Binding of Isaac, is literally, that's what that Abraham sacrificing his son Isaac to God uh, is is based off of that. It's like the the idea of sacrificing, first off, sacrificing humans to God uh, is he didn't think it was weird, right? that God would ask for this thing because that's something that happened back in the day. Like humans were sacrificed to God. Uh, but you look at some of this stuff and you're like, that's not moral. And so the thought is that God lost. You know, when Satan tried to take over, he succeeded. The one that was cast down was God. That's one thought. That's one idea. The other idea is that... Um, I mean, the Bible is written by humans, so who knows? Were humans under the influence of Satan? You know, was uh, in a lot of media, there's the idea that um, God and, and Satan came to the idea of non-interference in the world of men, and since God adheres to, you know, the rules, God is good, he 
abides. You know, he does not interfere, but, you know, Satan being evil cheats. And so Satan does interfere in the world of man. And so thus, I mean, that's its own whole thing, but Satan also uh, possibly influenced the Bible to be demonic in some respects. So, you know, that's, there's a lot, but that, that thing kind of reminded me of the, yeah, the many headed beast that the whore of Babylon rides, which itself I think is supposedly, um, a metaphor for the empire, like the Roman empire or something like that. I, I don't know. Anyway, that is it. That's what are womb worlds. That was kind of neat. Uh, not bad for a free little game. Very different, of course. Um, and I could see the inspiration or um, kind of some of the game mechanics carrying over to growing my grandpa. Um, but yeah, it was it was interesting. You know, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate. It. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Um. Yeah, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent. If you like the video, give it a like, please. Leave me a comment. I do read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them. And it usually takes me a few days. Uh, what is, I don't know if we're going to do this as a full episode. I guess we could. It's over half an hour. It's almost 40 minutes. What is your guys' unique positive moment for today? For me, it's this game. I mean, this was interesting. I also have to play his other one. Uh, what is it? Discover My Body. That's supposed to be kind of creepy as well, so we'll see. But I like these little indie games. If you guys do have recommendations, by the way, let me hear them. I do try and get to them, um, especially if they're short. If they're um, if they're longer, I mean, they they have to go onto the onto the list because I have a huge freaking backlog that I'm trying to go through before before Steam inevitably upgrades to the next uh, version of Windows and forces my hand one way or another so uh so yeah but um but yeah this game is my unique puzzle moment hopefully your guys are just as good if not better hopefully better of course and i hope to see you guys next time till then guys take care